so we'll be talking about data and business analytics uh, today this is a very uh, booming course nowadays if you are pursuing any course be it or be, be it you are pursuing an mba or any bachelor's degree be it in commerce economics statistics or even so if you are pursuing any other non financial courses like uh, human resource um or mass media and let us suppose you are pursuing any professional courses like actuarial science cfa all these people you might be using excel if not you might be using ms word ms ppt if you go deep you might be using r programming for your statistical uh, statistics subjects or you might be using a python or you might be using power bi or you might be using sql so these are the different tools that you might be some of it might be using in your college or in your projects or in your uh, work as well wherein you will be analyzing importing data um prop um visualizing or creating different charts for your clients or for your presentations so here we have curated a proper course which uh, and we have 8 to 10 different programming tools involved uh, all of these will be recorded lectures and we'll be having weekly doubt sessions each course each programming tool has 20 plus hours of content and it includes a lot of in class assignments a lot of in uh, interactive ppts that we'll be sharing with you once you uh, take the class and once you have completed the entire content which can be easily done so a 20 hours of content can be easily done in 15 days and after you uh, for one particular subject or one particular programming tool and once you have completed that you will have to sit for a small test once you give that test we will be able to assess whether you have understood the entire uh, tool or not and then we'll give you a certificate so we also have a lifetime access to our counseling groups wherein we help our students to build cvs uh, to how to interact in interviews how to sit for their first interview we will have we have a lot of interactive sessions uh, people coming from industry talking about their experiences this you will be having a lifetime access to and we give you a placement assistance there is obviously not a guarantee that we give you for placement but definitely we assist you in the ways like uh, counseling you like um, helping you how to make a cv and all those stuff we also get a lot of job opportunities that we share with our students till now we have 200 plus students who have been certified and many of them them are also placed in good companies so let's talk about who should pursue this course so any class 12 pass out can pursue this course because there are no prerequisites that you will be needing we start from the very scratch so you just maybe have cleared your class 12 and you have your two months time before joining your college so you can definitely go for these courses because it will definitely help you in your college if you are joining different groups different if you have any seminars where you need to present ppts or this will actually help you and it's a good time that you can spend and learn these courses you just need to spend 2 hours every day for that so anyone who is doing as i mentioned bcom bba any commerce undergrad courses or any financial undergrad courses there are a lot of students who have taken this course uh, from hr background coming from uh, mass communication mass media they have also and medical students have also opted for this course or if you are pursuing any professional course ca cfa frm cpa cma actuarial science it will definitely help you because you are just not confined to excel you are also learning the back end of it which is vba and then sql and then obviously how to um, present your data which you will be learning in power bi so these are the different courses that we offer starting from basic to advanced excel uh, this is something which is uh, important for all the students nowadays because everyone be it a small company or a large mnc is also using excel then vba which is the back end of excel there are some tasks that we are doing on a daily basis quarterly basis monthly basis in excel itself if you want to automate that you can do it very easily using vba there are a lot of companies again who prefer candidates who already know vba then we have sql sql is something which uh, helps you in data manipulation data analysis data interpretation data sorting filtering a lot of things so 
Excel is limited to a specific size of data. If the size of the data is beyond a particular limit, you will, you will not be able to use Excel. So for that, we have SQL, which is again very simple and have very simple codes. Um, English terminology, basic English terminologies, words like select, insert, delete, these are the basic words that make up the codes in SQL itself. Very, very interesting, very important. SQL is something which most of the companies are definitely using. If not SQL, there are some other versions of it like Oracle, but the codes remain the same. Then we have Python. Python is again very important if we talk from the perspective of finance because most of the companies hardcore, if they are into finance, they definitely opt for Python. Python is something wherein uh, people who are trading in stock market, they can definitely use Python for different uh, matrix calculation on a real time basis, which can be easily done. Python is really good in handling large data as well. Then we have R programming and machine learning. This is specifically for statistics students, students pursuing economics, students who are going into actuarial science also use R programming. Very easy to use interface, making amazing graphs if you want to go into that. Machine learning is again something which is booming, you might be knowing. We are currently into the world of AI. Now, AI has become so fancy that we actually don't understand the back end of it. Back end is all about machine learning, how you are teaching your machine to perform given a particular data set. So for example, I'll give you a very basic uh, real life example, the driverless cars which are coming up. You call this as AI, artificial intelligence, where, is, where there is no human intervention. If the car is moving straight, and if the car wants, like if there is a right turn, the car knows uh, when to take the right turn, when to take the left turn, when to apply brakes, all of these are known. But how the car knows there is a huge machine learning going behind it. What do you mean? The basic definition of machine learning is that you are teaching on the basis of the past experience of 10 years, 5 years, 15 years, 20 years, you have it, you having the entire data, you feed that into your machine and accordingly you teach your machine to uh, act in a particular manner when the situation or the inputs are in a particular situation. So it's very simple. We not only use it like this is a very high end uh, example which I have given you. For example, you go to a bank and you apply for a loan then you may not always get the loan of the desired amount. For example, if I am going and I am taking a loan and I want a loan of one crores and the interest rate which is currently going is let's say, suppose 9%. The bank may offer the loan to me, but they may say that we'll give you one crore at 10%. That depends on a lot of factors. My Sybil score, uh, then my current occupation, my number of dependents I have, medical conditions, um, what is my salary, the area which I'm living in. So there are um, my gender, then the region, a lot of things they take into consideration and then accordingly they judge whether this person will be able to repay the loan or not and then they give you the loan. It's not that uh, they see you and then just give you the loan. There is a lot of different mechanisms going and this is how we build uh, different uh, machine learning algorithms where you know just feed the data and you get the output so it's very interesting and at the same time it's very uh, sometimes it is domain specific as well so when i mean domain specific uh, anyone who's learning python r programming machine learning might not be using it always in, uh, in the same manner for example the example i gave you for the bank loans is something which the people uh, sitting in the bank who are in the credit department are using uh, this particular model. Now, in if I talk about health sector, people in health sector also are using machine learning to very good extent. For example, uh, they feed in a lot of different uh, inputs, uh, current medical status, uh, there are a uh, different terminologies that they use and then they decide whether this person has this particular disease or not. You might have seen that there are a lot of variations in the output that they give. They say that you are 67%, 80% into this particular disease or uh, how they calculate these numbers. It's all machine learning that they are using. Then uh, we have G Suite, we have MS Office. So G Suite is basically, uh, again, 
uh, if you are using Google, uh, all the Google uh, soft uh, tools like your spreadsheets, your uh, we have Google Sheets, we have Doc. This actually helps you in a real time connection. So if I have made a particular Google Sheet and I want to share it with my team on a real time basis and I want to check what they are also doing on a real time basis, then Google Sheets are something that we definitely use. It's very great. We have Google Forms. Uh, so it's kind of, I will not say very basic, but then it's a very important life skill nowadays that you should know because the companies expect that you know these different things. Then we have MS Office. So MS Office over here um, basically means that uh, in MS Office, we again have MS Word, M PPT, we have Access, all of these different tools. Somehow people think that using MS Word or PPT is very simple. But actually, if you go dig deep, there is a lot of different things that we can do on MS Word. And MS Word is actually sometimes tricky and it might throw you into problem sometimes when you are writing a letter or the company is asking you to prepare something on MS Word and you don't know the basic stuff. So uh, that is what we do in MS Office. Really important, a very good life skill, which students graduating from college and if you are applying for the jobs as a fresher companies definitely expect you to know all of these uh, at least ms office for sure then if i talk about uh, the last course that we also have over here is tally so tally is something which mostly accounting students would relate to uh, this is again a very go to hack go to uh, tool for all the students who are pursuing ca cs cma um, is also included. So these are the different eight uh, courses that we have. If you take any one course, it will cost you 2000. If you are taking all the courses together, we'll charge you 9000. So these are the courses and you can complete each course if you have a good target in mind within 10 days. So you can complete your Excel in 10 days, you can complete your VBA in 10 days, you can complete your SQL. Also, if I just add over here, we also have Power BI. Power BI is the ninth course that we have. It's again a very important uh, tool nowadays because nowadays everything is about communication to the client or to your seniors, to your management. You cannot give them a huge table. You need a proper chart. If I tell you if you can make an interactive dashboard, interactive charts, for example, I tell you, show me the current income for females in different age categories in the region west bengal you have entire data set you will sit and do filtering but if i say it can be done just on a click of a button and you can just show the chart to me that's great it does not require any kind of coding yes there is some kind of codes there but even if you don't know even if you don't dig deep in the coding you can still build good and amazing dashboards from scratch and it looks really great when you use this in your presentation so instead of using just basic simple ppt or creating charts in excel we can actually build amazing looking dashboards on power bi and it will take you lesser time and trust me it's again very simple anyone who has just completed class 12 can also do these courses very simple because i have curated and we have curated in a similar manner so if you want to uh, know more about this you can get in touch with us our contact details will be given in the description below thank you